welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be decorating our living room area in our apartment. Like you can see behind me, I've already started styling some things, but I'm going to break down styling our bookshelves. I'm also going to style some pillows and our coffee table and just make it a cozy little space. I'm also going to spruce up our drop zone area that's right to the side of the living room. So I'll give you lots of tips and tricks on how to style decor without it looking too cluttered and how to find your own personal style while still decorating in a small space. We are in a 760 square foot apartment while we build our home. So it's very tight and tiny, but it's so cozy. We're gonna decorate this together. If you missed, I showed packing and moving it's about our home that we're about to build. So I'll link that playlist if you wanna check the other videos videos out. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, and let's go get to decorating. But before we get started, I wanted to thank Walmart for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have some really pretty neutral decor pieces from Walmart that are versatile, they're practical. So I'm going to show you those now before we get to actually decorating with them. First up is this beautiful pillow cover. I'm obsessed with this. I've actually been looking for some embroidered pillowcases for a while and I love this one. So you can see all of the detail. It's a really pretty off-white jute color. They almost look like flowers. I feel like this is the perfect pattern for spring and summer. So I have two of these that I'm going to style on our couch and they are just the covers but they were such a good price. Plus all of my items arrived very quickly and secure so I was really happy about that but these pillowcases are a collab with my texas house this is the poppy floral pillowcase in the color ivory they also have it in another color which is like a rust which would be so pretty for fall but these were 14 dollars each so you already have some throw pillows on your couch and they have inserts in them that are the same size this is a standard 18 by 18 inch pillowcase you could always take that insert out and put it right in here and then you save some space on storing your pillows if you're just getting covers. So I love these so much. The next item kind of goes along with that and it is this beautiful natural woven blanket. This is by the brand Woven Paths and it's their gingham beige patchwork cotton throw. It's a 60 inch by 50 inch. It's very soft. It's one of those blankets that are good for summer because it's very lightweight with the cotton material and this was originally $49 and it was on sale for $24 and I like these tassels on the end so I'm going to style this on our couch and I just love it because it's just very neutral which is very my style and in a small space I like to keep things pretty light and airy that way it feels bigger so got those two items the next thing I got is a rug it's kind of like a runner and it's in this beautiful pattern I haven't opened it up yet let me pick it up and show you. Okay, here it is. It's in the package still. This is a two foot by seven feet, six inches runner and it's so beautiful. This is another collab with my Texas house and this is the Lone Star Bell pattern. This was a really good price as well. I think it was around $73. So such a steal for a really good quality runner and it looks like it's soft too. So I'm gonna open this up, let it kind of relax. Hopefully it's not wound up and it'll lay flat. So I love checking out Walmart for home decor. You can find some really nice items there, even in store if you go in and look at their decor. They have great bedding, great home decor items, mirrors, rugs, all kinds of things. I'll have all of these exact items linked down below in my description if you want to check them out but you can shop in store or online at Walmart and you can find collections that you like online and then it'll start giving you other suggested items which I really liked and that's how I found a lot of these. I loved all of the My Texas House line. She had such beautiful things. But anyways, let's go ahead and start decorating the living room in our apartment. Okay, so this little area is right off the living room. This is our front door. So as soon as you walk in, I wanted a place where where we could hang like my purse, we could hang up our keys, just a little drop zone area. And this was just a blank wall. So I added this peg rail shelf. I actually had this in our last house in our entryway and it worked out really good and it's so fun to style. So 
I'm going to keep it pretty minimal, but I thought it'd be pretty for spring to hang a basket with flowers. I'm gonna put a landscape art on top, and I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it very simple and neutral and not overly cluttered. That way, if I have guests over and they wanna hang up their purse, they still have pegs to do so. Here's the basket that I'm gonna be decorating with. It's got a hook on the back. It's really pretty woven material. You could hang real stems in here if you wanted to, but I just have some faux hydrangeas, and I believe this flower here is lilac. And I have some wispier twig pieces in here as well. So I'm going to just hang this basket right on the hook and call it a day. how that looks very simple but there's still space where you can actually use the peg shelf to hang practical items now I have a bench that I think I'm going to place underneath this window only because there's not enough room behind the door once you open it that's a very small space right there so if you're working with small spaces don't feel like you have to put a bench like directly under the shelves. That's how I had it in my last house and it worked for that house, but here it doesn't. So I'm going to place the bench right along here, maybe add a little plant beside it to tie it all together. make it just a little cozier I'm going to add this throw pillow to it it's still very neutral it's gonna blend well with all the rest of the decor in the room that will soften this area up a bit I bought this olive tree, came in a really small pot, so I upgraded it to this pot here, and now I feel like it almost needs another one. I don't know, I feel like it's growing very quickly. It's like leaning. So if you have ever had an olive tree, let me know, do you need to make a post to kind of hold it up? I can see that the base of the olive tree is down here, but I almost wonder if it needs some support or something. So I don't know, let me know if you have any suggestions with the olive tree. Now I'm gonna open up this rug and I'm gonna place it right here just because I feel like this is a high traffic space. It's a pretty wide area without a rug or carpet or anything. And the whole apartment is this hard laminate um, plank. So I feel like this would just be a little cozier coming to the apartment. goodness this is way better than I was anticipating it's a lot more plush than I thought it would be and I'm pitching it nothing is shedding on it so I love this rug all right so for the living room setup we've got our couch here what we did for saving space in the apartment is this is actually a sectional that we had upstairs in our bonus room and it has another piece that goes along that wall but to save some space we decided to just put this section of the sectional. I've got pillows and blankets. We're going to cozy the couch up with my new throw pillows and my new throw blanket and just create a very cozy vibe. I like to do for my spaces, especially now, is to just have a very neutral color palette. It's just very relaxing and it is very cohesive. So when I'm buying decor, I just like to have pieces that flow together. But if you don't know what your style is, try getting neutral colors and things like pillows and blankets. That way you're not gonna have to buy a whole new set of pillows or a whole new set of blankets because you had a pink blanket and you don't like it anymore. So anyways, let's get to decorating this space.
I love all of the detail work in this blanket. It is so pretty. And it's more of just like an awful white, I would say, which I think the color might have been either beige maybe or ivory, but it is so pretty and it's so soft. So I really like this one and the pillows pair so nicely. I think this is great for spring. It just adds like a little bit of detail. All right, now let's style the coffee table. We're just going to layer it up. I feel like this video is super laid back and I'm enjoying just like talking to you guys as I style stuff. So we're gonna roll with it. Hopefully you guys like this style. Sometimes I'll do a voiceover and talk about what I'm doing. But I just feel like chatting with you guys and like you're here, one of my girlfriends helping me style stuff. I feel like that's a little more fun and something different. So let me know if you like this style. But my memory card just ran out of room, so I had to go grab a different one. But anyways, back to um, coffee table styling. So I like this tray because it's a good size and it has handles on it. So if Brooks wants to color on here or we want to um, just have this area to put our books on or something, I can always just grab whatever's on this and set it to the side and we'll have the whole table to use. It's just really easy to have all your decor on a tray. So you have some stuff just sitting on the table and it drives you crazy having to move it anytime you want to use the table just add a tray or don't add anything at all, whatever works for you. But I'm gonna add my tray first. I'm gonna add this book. So I'm just going to place this here. I picked up some dried lavender. It smells so good and I love the dry floral look. So I just stuck it in here mainly for the smells and I just have this kind of brass colored vase. And then I'm gonna put some practical things like some coasters. These are just marble coasters. And then our remote for our TV, I'm going to tuck in the side right by the base so it's hidden, but we always know where the remote is. So that's what I'm doing for the coffee table. And I can always switch out the florals or if I get fresh florals, switch out your flowers for the week. But that's what I love about this dried lavender is that it'll stay, smell so good for quite a while. Next up, I'm going to style the bookshelves on either side of the fireplace. We brought this from our last house and we had these shelves in our living room in the last house as well. Taylor installed our TV using a slim TV amount and I would love to make a DIY frame TV um, kind of frame for our TV. This was actually the TV in our master bedroom that we brought out here. We're just gonna leave it out here. My favorite thing to style in living rooms are shelves. I just love them. I think they're so fun. I'll show you some of the things that I use to style on shelves, but I had Taylor install one of these sconces above the bookshelf to tie everything together. I feel like it added some height with the TV. Let me put you on the tripod and I'll show you all of the items that I'm gonna style on the shelves. The first thing is this faux pothos plant. It came in this white um, ceramic pot, but for a little bit of texture and to tie in with the rest of my decor, I thrifted this basket. Super cute, it has little handles on it. And once the leaves are pulled down, you can't really see the white ceramic pot. You just see this beautiful basket filled with greenery. So I'm gonna put this on the top shelf. That way it fills the whole shelf up. And once you see, I have another bookshelf exactly like this on the other side. And I want to have the same feel of the decor and I want things to be placed to where your eye is constantly looking, but everything feels cohesive. I'm gonna put this on the top shelf just to kind of ground and center the bookshelves. Another thing I love decorating with are thrifted books. Just old worn in books are just the best. So here's a few that I have. I've honestly had the best luck looking for old books at barn sales or estate sales. You can usually get them cheaper than you can get them at antique stores. They are so pricey there. They're like $15 a book for an old book. So I just cannot justify paying that. So I always am looking for really cool old books. So I'm gonna style these on the bookshelf. Sometimes I like having the paper part showing and then other times I like to have the back 
for this shelf just to switch it up i'm gonna put it on the paper side these really cute raw wood wooden bases that i just love i think these are so pretty so i'm gonna keep a set of three right next to these bookshelves adding like smallest to shortest and just have a little grouping of three there i feel like that looks intentional it looks styled i really love the look of these bases okay the next shelf is going to be one that is practical you guys know i love my baskets obviously but this basket has a ton of filming equipment in there so i've got extra tripods for my iphone i have my microphone for voiceovers and i typically will edit here in the living room on the couch so this is great to have I'm just gonna pop this on the shelf and everything is pretty tucked into the basket you never know you'll never know so if you have kids toys or anything that you need to be able to just pull out throw it in a basket stick it on the shelf okay next to it i'm gonna add this cute little watering can just because i've got plants everywhere some of my plants are real some are fake i love having cute watering cans this is just a little ceramic watering can i think it's very cute a little modern i like the black detail on it so i'm gonna place that just right next to the basket I know it looks a little funny having something big next to something small, but I feel like it works. I feel like this is something practical. You could just grab it, water your plants, move on. But it also looks very cute. Okay, for the next shelf, I'm gonna be adding some more books, some more plants and baskets just to balance everything out. So I have a plant that again, I just didn't love the pot that it came in. You can see it's just, it's okay. Elevate it. I've got another thrifted little basket and this one is so cute. It's got little scallops around the top and I just love this basket. I think it's adorable. So I'm gonna pop this one inside and we're going to style it over here. It's a little bit smaller of a plant as well. So I feel like it's not super loud being on the bottom. And I'm also gonna add this vase. This just is a faux pottery vase, very large. And I feel like this is grounded. This isn't gonna get knocked over very easily. It's very heavy. I've got a few more old books. This one is so old, it's falling apart. You can see the binding. I think that's just so cool. And then here's another one. So I'm going to stack these together and I'm gonna place these books right in the middle and I'm gonna use both of these things kind of like bookends to give it a different look and since the books up top were stacked horizontally i think these will be good vertically love that okay the last shelf i've got another basket so this one is a very large basket and in here i have things like my planner i've got a book for brooks peter rabbit and i also have like just some sticker things for brooks and a coloring book so I just place all of that in the basket and tuck it away. Once it's in there, you really can't even tell what's in the basket. So it's a win-win. I like the contrasting colors in the baskets. It's all just very earthy. Another bookshelf. This one, the only thing that's temporary right now, but I don't know how temporary it's going to be is we have an internet booster for our phones because since this is a pole barn metal building and there's an apartment inside of it, the signal is awful. So we had to get a booster and we haven't hardwired it on the outside of the barn yet. So right now there's a big cord coming in from the door and we have our booster sitting on the bookshelf. So I'm just gonna work around it we're gonna make it homey. You might be able to see a few wires. If you do have wires that you have a hard time styling decor around, maybe this will help, I don't know. This side, we're gonna do pretty much the same color scheme, the same vibe, but make it a little bit different. That way it's not the same types of items on both shelves and it's not repetitive. So on top, I'm gonna add this really pretty landscape picture. I love landscape art right now. I don't know why, I just think it's so pretty. It's like having signs without having words. I don't know, it's just very relaxing to me and inspiring. And again, I feel like it's all in the same color pattern. This is all very like neutral colors, some green, some blues, and it's got the wood frame which matches the wood shelves i just feel like it all flows really nicely so i'm gonna put this on the top shelf 
to give some heights to the bookshelf. It also won't fit in any of the other spaces, so it's gonna have to go on the top shelf if I wanna use it for here. I think that's centered. I can't really tell. I think it's close enough. Okay, I'm gonna pull you back in so we can figure out the situation. So I'm gonna place something in front of the booster itself so it kind of hides the cords a little bit, kind of conceals it, but the antenna will still be there, obviously. So I'm gonna add some books. Next to it, I'm gonna put a pot. This is a ceramic pot that I picked up from the thrift store and I painted it with some baking soda in the paint. So it used to be like red and crazy colors. I have a video showing you how I do that. So you can check that out if you wanna know how to make your own faux pottery, but that's what it looks like. And then I just have a little faux plant in there if it's perfectly. I'm gonna set that right next to the stack. I'm gonna place this really cute watering can on top of the books. I don't wanna to totally block the antenna, but that just kind of distracts the eye from what's behind it. So there we go. I think that shelf looks okay. I think that looks good. The next shelf, I'm gonna add another landscape art picture, but this one's much smaller. So I'm just gonna place this to one side. That way you'll see the bigger one up top and then your eyes will kind of go down to the smaller one. And then I have these really pretty neutral candlesticks. They're a really pretty light wood color. I'm gonna place them there. For the next one, I have another stack. Place them on the opposite side that I placed the other book stack. Okay, next up I have a real plant and it's an aloe plant, one of the easiest ones to keep alive. So I let Brooks pick out a plant. He painted this pot and he decided to make a little smiley face on one side and said that this plant had crazy hair. So a lot of times he will flip this around and have a little smiley face on there, which is cute, but I'm gonna put it on the other side. That way it looks a little more neutral and we'll just place this one right here it's kind of getting too big for this spot though and then i feel like something needs to go here so i have this little wooden canister I'm just gonna put it here right on top of those books and then i have another basket that matches the one on the other side exactly and i have a big cozy blanket in it that i'm just going to place on the bottom shelf that's it I know these cords side of the bookshelf are gonna drive me crazy, so I'm gonna go grab a faux plant and try to distract all of those cords. If I had some tape, I could always tape these cords to the back, the leg here on the bookshelf, but I don't have any today, so this is gonna have to do. All right, there we have it. So that definitely distracts the cords, but isn't, a permanent solution, obviously, but again, very neutral decor. And I feel like the plants having one up here and one down there, one beside it, the baskets, I feel like it all just flows nicely. One last area I wanted to decorate was on top of the fireplace. And I have this wooden bowl. Something spilt on it during the move. I'm not sure what happened, but I think if I have it up here, you're really not gonna see the inside of it very much. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle of the fireplace and I feel like it'll bring all of the wood tones together. I've got a candle here and I also have this little candle husher. So I'm gonna set that beside it as well. And there we go. The living room is completely styled. I'll give you guys a little tour and I'll show you some afters of what it looks like all styled.
All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this living room decorate with me video. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, stay tuned. I've got lots more videos coming. Thank you for spending some time with me today and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye, friends. Thank you.